Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. I'm Heath and we are talking about music in this episode, specifically Jack Starr's Burning Star, a hard rock slash heavy metal band hailing from the 80s all the way through today. If you've not heard of this band, here's why you need to discover them. They are continuing to innovate. They just put out a brand new album uh, in, uh, in, in 2022. This is Souls of the Innocent. They have also just released a career spanning anthology and most of their catalog has just been reissued on CD. So it's a great time to discover Jack Starr's Burning Star. Jack Starr has a very interesting sound. Uh, he, he does the hard rock thing, the metal sound, but he's not just that. He's also got a blues influence as well, does blues projects. This anthology has a nice biography of, uh, of Jack Starr and the music here uh, continues here. If you want to freeze frame that so you can read everything. Um, but it's a it's a great time to discover this stuff as musical trends changed you know throughout the 80s the band has been through various incarnations and and uh they remain popular in europe i think but in the u.s this stuff got really really hard to find but all that's changed now because of this reissue program so we kick it off with rock the american way it is that mid 80s sound that you expect you know throw your fist up you know it's 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 you know fire desire they're not going to take my rock and roll, that kind of stuff. Um, but the evolution of this band is very impressive. Uh, here's their second album. I don't think this is the original cover either. This is No Turning Back. This is a Hildebrand cover. And uh, I, I don't think... Those of you who have the original edition, let me know. Uh, I think this is a new... There's been some new branding here. Here's the third album, Blaze of Glory. Predates the Bon Jovi thing. This is 1987. Uh... And this is the end of the road for the first iteration of the band. But they continue. So here's Land of the Dead. Uh, here is their, the sixth album, uh, Under a Savage Sky. And the most recent album is uh, Souls of the Innocent. If you want to hear a great track off of this, Demons Behind Me is a great one to check out. And uh, go with Souls of the Innocent. It's the title track of the whole album. That's what the band looks like in 2022. And the anthology, you guys, is really great because if you're not familiar with I, I realize, you know, a new CD reissue in 2022. The old hard rockers and the old metalheads know this stuff, but there's going to be a lot of new people that are coming to this for the first time or who are discovering it, that are curious. I'm telling you, these albums are like 12 bucks on Amazon. This is a great time to get into Jack Star. They've all got so many bonus tracks. The problem, if I have a problem, it's that a lot of these CDs, actually all of these CDs, well, they've got bonus tracks, but I don't know what the bonus tracks are. They're not listed on the packaging and they're not in the liner notes. They all have booklets with, you know, the, the information about the CD. But if you, I even rip stuff digitally, right? I'll put them in my computer and rip them using iTunes. So I have digital versions of this stuff. So I have the hard copy and a versatile digital edition. And they're not even in iTunes when I did, when I ripped them, they weren't even in iTunes. So I don't know what the bonus tracks are. Sometimes they're remixed editions, sometimes they're live performances, but they're loaded with stuff is the point. Uh, and this career spanning anthology is a great entry point because it's three discs and they've broken down each, each album is represented all the way up through uh, live, we've got live in Germany, which I don't think has been reissued, but it's available digitally, and uh, the Strider Project is another one that I don't think has been reissued, but it's available digitally. And, uh, and then look, th previously unreleased bonus tracks. So here's the bonus tracks here. It's extremely comprehensive, and it's very well packaged. I, each each disc beneath it has the uh, the album art for that that particular era, and I've just showed them all to you. So I guess we don't. Well, I'll do it anyway show you all the album covers because there's uh there's strider the strider project which i don't have to show you because i don't think it's been reissued and um the live in germany uh live in germany right there so uh the sound is great check these songs out just you know if you've never heard the band look them up check out what they what they sound like uh i think this stuff is great for it's, it's wonderful that we're living in a time when so much of this stuff is coming back, you know, we, there was a window that lasted for years where we thought that things like this were just gone forever. Um, that music of the 80s and the 90s that wasn't, you know, trendy 
wasn't easily Spotifyable, uh, that it was just gone for good. But no, that is not the case. We are living in the best of times when so many classic things are getting better presentations than ever before. These are better than when they first came out because they've got tons of bonus tracks on them. They, they sound fantastic. So if you like Jack Star's Burning Star, let's talk about it in the comments of this video. And uh, I'll put links to where you can pick this stuff up. Guys, thanks so much. Take care. Until next time, I'll catch you later.